Well, what's up, guys? Sorry, the desk is a bit of a mess. But I got a new toy. I uh, got another Blackweb product because I really liked their speakers. So I figured, you know what? I'll try out their wireless keyboard. So we're going to unbox it. And we're going to see what's in there. And we're going to see how it does. So that's what's happening right now. Hopefully the lighting is okay. I'll let me move. There we go. Much better lighting. And I'm using the wrong kind of knife for this. Let me see what's up in here. Let me see what's up. I'll let you know what I think of it after uh, I get it hooked up as well. It's got a little touchpad, which I don't think I'm going to use, but it's there. They have a lot of products, apparently, that uh, I want to try. They've got some cool mouse and uh, headset and stuff like that. Oh, wow, this is really light. So, yeah, this is, this is the keyboard. Anything else wrapped in there? I don't think there's anything else in the box. I can't, can't see. Can you see? Is there anything in there, guys? There is. There's something else in there. And I can't quite get it. Okay, so this is probably the worst packaging thing ever. Like, the batteries are just laying there, and then that piece. So, that's not cool, because if you're buying this and the tape has ripped from the end, those might not be there. So, if you do buy this, check it, make sure it has everything in it. This does, thankfully, because that was taped shut. And it's just very strange. Very, very strange. So let's look at the keyboard. Get it in the light and see what it looks like, guys. This is very, very light. I like this a lot. Very light. It's got an angle to it. Huh. On and off switch, which is pretty cool. The touchpad looks weird. Alright. Let me plug this bad boy in and I'll be right back. Alright, keyboard is plugged in and working. I didn't even have to install any drivers, it just immediately started working. Uh, one thing about this keyboard, it is so small compared to my other keyboard. This would not be a good gaming uh, keyboard, obviously. I don't know if they have a gaming keyboard, I didn't see one there. I know they have a gaming mouse. So I will check that out. Well, this keyboard seems to be seems to be cool. I mean, the keys function very, very well. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they're they're not thick keys at all. They're very thin, and they're very very well spaced. So you're not going to be hitting two buttons at once. I kind of had that problem with the uh, Microsoft keyboard. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but they are very, very close together, and sometimes they would stick. These don't look like they're going to have that problem at all. It does have a battery indicator up here, so if your battery is going to die, this will turn red. Uh, it's got, you know, cap lock, number lock, all the basic keys that a keyboard needs, the volume. It actually works, as you can see. I'm hitting the volume button on the keyboard. That's working. Um, Windows key. Pulls that up. That's cool. Yes, I have the network. You should get it too. Um, well, yeah, let's see what this does. Oh my god, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, the touchpad works amazingly well. Oh, it's gonna fuck with me. I'm gonna hit it and Holy it's gonna click crap. everywhere. Holy crap. I don't even need a mouse anymore. The only downfall that I see with, uh, well, never mind, that downfall is gone. Holy crap. All right, you don't have to right or left click or anything. You just, let's say you want to open a folder with, yeah, there's a balloon there. Let's say you want to open a folder with this little touchpad. You just hover over the, the folder and you just double tap the touchpad and it's just, bam. There's absolutely no need for a mouse. That's cool. That is cool. Unless you do a lot of right-clicking and uh, all that stuff, but you can 
to really get away with not not doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied thus far. I will come back in about an hour or so and give a more detailed uh, review. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, so I've been using this for a little while now, and I have to say I, I like it, but it is very, very small, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get used to how small this is. This might be for someone who is used to using a laptop or a small notebook. I don't know. I like it. It's just really, really small. It functions well. The keys function very, very smoothly. I might just have to get used to it. I don't know. If I don't get used to it, maybe I'll just give it away to a subscriber. We'll see. Not sure. I do like it. It's just very, very small. That is the only, the only bad thing I can think of about this keyboard is that it is so, so small. But it, I like it. It works well. It's just small. Very, very small. Thanks for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you feel like picking this up, or if you did pick it up, let me know what you think of it. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.